why the Physium project? Uh, to answer this question, uh, we will go into the detail at why Physium project been initiated and why it's uh, it's very important to uh, study and understand uh, this Physium project uh, for us. Uh, we will divide this uh, module into two parts. So this is the first part of this module. Uh, if we uh, consider or think about uh, some of the organ systems of the human body, uh, the individual organs like uh, the lungs or the arterial system or the blood flow or the other systems, they are um, uh, highly complex systems. Uh, and these systems are not only complex, they are uh, multi-scalar systems because uh, they, 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 they further consist of uh, elements at uh, multi-dimensional levels uh, from molecular to cellular to organ to tissue. So uh, they consist of uh, uh, elements at m multiple levels which are specially arranged in some uh, hierarchical fashion. Uh, so uh, the complexity of the system uh, to model uh, is one of uh, the major problems to be addressed in this uh, and not only to be addressed, to be understand uh, from multiple dimensions in this uh, Physium project. Uh, but to model uh, such systems, uh, we must uh, require to, to link different components of the system together because uh, if we are going to uh, study all these elements at their individual level, and not linking them uh, at a bigger level, uh, we will be unable uh, at our ultimate goal to achieve uh, the, 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 the big goal of uh, this project. So that's why we have to link and bridge all these elements together to, to bridge and map the interactions of these components with each other. Uh, so it's possible to uh, model uh, different organs uh, because we are uh, eight at, at a stage where we can, uh, at the peak of uh, modeling uh, uh, technologies, so we can model these organs at the organ level and the system level as uh, we can model uh, such systems at the cellular or molecular level. So uh, we can model them. Uh, if we can successfully model uh, and bring together these different types of uh, levels together and, uh, and, and, and we can uh, go into the details of this uh, big picture of the whole system and the functioning of the organisms or the organ. Uh, the incentives of, uh, of this work or this project will be, uh, there will be mega incentives and mega rewarding incentives uh, at, at multiple levels. Uh, and, and the reward is basically the understanding of nature and uh, the power to, to intervene uh, because the ultimate goal uh, is to understand the functioning of the whole organism and that's why we are integrating uh, different things at different levels from different dimensions. Now, uh, intrinsic to the effort is the search for uh, scientific understanding, uh, scientific understanding because how scientifically and logically different elements and components of the systems are working uh, for uh, determining cause and effect relationships. Uh, the relationships uh, to be studies is uh, essential because uh, we are going into the big picture and if we are integrating different things, so there will be some emergent behaviors uh, from the individual systems. So, so we have to, to cater these relationships as well. Uh, uh, and we also have to uh, go into the, uh, and to understand the cascades of linkages between uh, genome, uh, the linkage between the genome, the environment and the influences of uh, uh, these different types of dimensions on each other from, from, from different sides, from both the sides, uh, not only in the healthy but in the diseased condition as well because uh, one of the major objective of this project is to, uh, is to map and to cater uh, the, the influence of a, of a certain condition on, uh, on the human uh, functioning. So that's why uh, disease phenotype must also be uh, considered. Uh, now, uh, what we are talking about is all these things are basically embodied in uh, the definition of the physiome, uh, so which is the quantitative description of functioning of the uh, living organism, uh, and also to provide an open source uh, framework to all these uh, uh, goals uh, 
being achieved or in the pipeline of uh, achieving. Uh, so the, 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 the Physium project has been uh, underway for a long time. Uh, multiple groups and multiple investigators from different countries, from different labs and universities, they are working uh, toward this project for the accomplishment. And they are working in different dimensions toward this project. So the most uh, definitive beginning uh, toward this project was the work of uh, Claude Bernard, uh, which is the, 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 at the beginning his work was being uh, referenced and was quoted. Uh, his views are important in this regard. So uh, his views were basically about the uh, homeostasis, we can say. Uh, as, for example, uh, we can uh, think about the homeostasis. So the homeostasis is basically uh, the result of the functioning of the whole organism, that how uh, the system and the organism is uh, maintaining their systems in a range, uh, not to violate their ranges. If they are in that range, so it means that uh, the functioning of that organism, whatever this function is, they are in the normal range, and if uh, the, the boundaries of that range get violated, then there is an abnormality or there will be a disease condition. So. Uh, we can, uh, the scientists can map uh, all these things in this uh, Physium project. So uh, this project is a very, very important project, and uh, and this is the future of uh, the future of uh, uh, medicine or healthcare uh, programs. So it must be uh, focused and must be taken very, very seriously uh, by the modern uh, scientists in this modern era.